It's that time of the show now for our new segment here that we simply call our Mint Mobile Hotline Question of the Day. You guys have an opportunity to call our hotline at 951 268 42 Five, nine, and leave a voice message that maybe you will hear your own voice right here on the John Campy Show, thanks to our friends at Mint Mobile. So, Jonathan, what is our Mint Mobile hotline question of the day today? Hey, John and crew. This is Zach calling from Ohio. I'm just calling about the Secret Invasion trailer, and I am just beside myself with the graphics in that trailer. I thought it was a movie. I can't believe it's going on Disney+. Plus. What's everybody there thinking? Thanks All right. for the time. Have a great day. All right. Thanks for calling in, even though your mom was sleeping in the next room and you were trying to keep your voice down. That was very courteous of you. Um, yeah, the Secret Invasion trailer. Now, we're going to be talking a lot about D23 from here on out, rest of the show. Uh, overall, pretty damn disappointing event, but we'll, we'll talk, get into that details a little bit. But even though the overall event was pretty disappointing, we'll talk about why more. There were a couple of glimmering moments. One of those moments was the Secret Invasion trailer. Now, of course, this was a, a show we all knew was coming. It's been in production. We know, we've known everything about it. But they dropped their first trailer for it. Now, you mentioned the visuals. I don't know that there was really much. I'm not saying the visuals were bad, but there really wasn't much in the way of visuals, really, um, in the trailer, which was perfectly fine. I still thought the trailer was great. I thought it gave that great sense of a great 80s thriller mystery sort of idea. Uh, the way they have evolved a bit, Nick Fury, the way he's evolved. Like, I love that scene in the trailer when he's sitting down with Maria Hill and she's like, oh yeah, you, you want my help? Hey, you've been more than happy to ignore my calls for whatever. And he's just like, yeah, well, this is different. Uh, which I just love. I love that that grizzled look that he has now. I just thought, and to see Ben Mendelsohn back is fantastic. So I just thought, and, and it looks like Rhodey's now some kind of probably a congressman or a senator or something here, but I just thought overall, this looked like, take, here's where how you know it was really good. Take the Marvel label off of it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Take the MCU label off of it. You just drop that and forget Nick Fury. Call it, you know, Ram Harbuckle and the mystery of the espionage and whatever. This is still a great trailer. Yeah. And so, yeah, I thought this was one of the shining moments. I liked it a lot. Rob, you had a chance to take a look at it. What did you think? Uh, well, I loved it. You know, I've, I've read the script for this show and uh, it doesn't disappoint. And I'll tell you something. My one of my favorite shot in the trailer is when Ben Mendelsohn's like, he's like in a restaurant or something and he stands up. And there's all these like people surrounding him that are already. They're all clones. You see them, they're all the same guy. Yeah. I didn't notice that the first time I saw the trailer. When all those guys stand up, you realize, oh, they're, they're all exact duplicates. Yeah. All those scrolls. Uh, yeah. And I was just like, okay. And because I didn't know what tone they were going to go for, the, it, it, it seemed pretty gritty, but it looks like they've retained that tone. And I really like that. I mean, I like that about the, Fal the Falcon and the Winter Soldier was that, that tone. Mm -hmm. And it looks like they've leaned more heavily really into that. And like you pointed out, it looks like one of those great Tom Clancy espionage thriller. I love those things. And uh, this it looks like they pulled it off. Chris, you had a chance to see the Secret Invasion trailer. Mm -hmm. What did you think of it? Oh, man, it looks like such a good spy thriller. It looks so fantastic. And I'm so excited that we do have some really great MCU things in there. We've got damage control popping up. We see Everett Ross in there again, who I freaking love Martin Freeman, so I'm so excited to have him in this. But honestly, I'm really excited about how they seem like they're taking this in a direction that isn't super true to the comic. It feels right. like its own thing. Because the Brian Men Michael Bendis story is great. The ending is a little eh for me on that one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I'm I'm really excited to see what they do with it. Because, you know, we've seen this with like Civil War and other things like that. Marvel Cinematic uni Universe does their own thing. So I really, really want to see what kind of cool, gritty spy shit they're going to do in this. I'm real excited about it. And it just happens to have scrolls. And I'm glad that they kind of contracted it down. Yes. It's because, a very contained story. Yeah. <laughs> if they tried to do what they did in the comics, I'm like, how are you going to do that? Well, I mean, after Captain Marvel, you couldn't really do Secret Invasion the way they did exactly. in the comics. Like, right. Exactly. No. As a starting point, but it sound, looks like they're finding a way to at least make it a little bit more similar than maybe we thought mm -hmm. it would be. Anyway, guys, question is for you. Did you have a chance to see the Secret Invasion trailer? I thought it was really quite good, even if it wasn't an MCU thing. What did you guys feel about it? Whatever those thoughts are, jump down to the comment section below and leave those thoughts there. Hey guys, we want to take a second to thank the sponsor of this video, Ryan Reynolds. 
and specifically his delightful company, Mint Mobile. So look, after years of fine print contracts and getting ripped off by big wireless providers, if we've learned anything, it's that there's always a catch. So when I first heard that Mint Mobile offers premium wireless starting at just $15 a month, I thought, what's the catch? But after talking to them and using their service, it all made sense. There isn't a catch. And guys, this is no joke. I have been using Mint Mobile for months now. And on top of the fact that I'm spending literally about one third every month of what I was spending on my former major carrier, I have discovered no decline in my service. I kept my phone number and I was able to keep my phone. The switch from my old service to Mint Mobile couldn't have been easier and saved me more money. And the best part for anybody who just hates their phone bills is that Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. All of their plans come with unlimited talk and text plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all your existing contacts. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com slash campia cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia